Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a uh, reading for the last half of May. So for the uh, second half of May, looks like Aries has made it to the top of the list. So we're just going to see what we have for Aries for the second half of May. What do we have? We're going to start right here, see what comes up. Now, I haven't read this book. I, you know, I don't go by the books, just so y'all know. Aries, second half of May. What do we have, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? Serendipity. Good luck at the right place at the right time. This is, uh, this is you know, serendipity is a fortunate accident. That's the meaning of the card. But a four-leaf clover is very good luck. So this is good. This is being at the right place at the right time. Something very good happening. Um... It could be a challenge, though. Whatever is happening could be a challenge. You may be challenged by it. And I say that because of the 18. 18 is a very challenging number. It is in degrees and such. But um, anyhow, there you could be facing a challenge. But whatever is happening... It, well, serendipity is a fortunate accident. So something could happen. It may seem like an accident, but it's very fortunate. It brings you something very good. Something good is coming out of a situation. Okay. Now, uh, yeah, something has happened that is or is happening or did happen or whatever. This is is uh, good luck. Okay, destiny. It's destined. So this is destiny. Um, it, that's a beautiful, beautiful. Uh, it's a beautiful thing, put it that way. Serendipity. It is. I mean, a four-leaf clover, clover. That's very, very, very good luck. Okay, something good is coming to you. What do we have for Aries for the end of May? The last half of May. The Emperor. Okay. So you are in charge. You're the boss. You are the boss. You're in charge. This is what? This is a little soldier boy. Work, work, work. Hard worker. Very strong. Um, very much highly respected as well. I feel like you, this is a very good provider. You're not showing any weakness. You're ready for battle. You have everything in order. Um... A lot of experience. You're a fighter, right? You've been fighting. You've been fighting for yourself. You're strong. Everybody recognizes your strength. They recognize your nobility as well. This is a very noble individual. So this is your energy, obviously. Um, nothing to worry about. Completely comfortable. You don't have anything to worry about, put it that way. You're very strong. The end of May is going to be a very strong, lucky time for you. Put it that way. You're going to be right in your element for some reason, even though it's not your birthday. This is you being in charge, um, being right where you want to be. You're not falling down. You're not falling apart. You are sitting pretty by the looks of things. You're right where you need to be. In charge. Strong. Very, very strong. Um... You're in control, put it that way. That's a level of self-mastery, okay? So, congratulations, Aries. Six of Wands. Now, this is victory. And she's riding a mosquito. That is absolutely victory. Um, now, it's interesting because the Six of Wands is... It comes after being in some sort of uh, battle, okay? So it's usually a soldier, you know, and it's interesting because we have a soldier here. So the battle is over. The battle is over. The fight is over. This is victory. So if you've been in some sort of struggle, it's going to end. This battle is over. You can breathe. You can, you can relax now. This is, again, being recognized. I think that maybe there's going to be some public recognition this month for you. I'm not sure. But whatever is happening, it's good. It's very, very, very good. Um, you know, it's interesting because when you think about a mosquito, you think about blood. It may have been bloody. You may have been through a situation that was... 
uh, well, maybe been, you know, you think about bloody, uh, bloody is painful. You were in some sort of painful situation or you may have been struggling, but now you're on top, you know, you're in charge, you're, you're, you're back to where you need to be. Okay. You're, you're back on top. Interesting. What do we have for Aries for the end of May? You are back. It's funny. It's funny because I started this out as you're, you've seen, you've made it to the top of the list. You have. It's interesting. Yeah, that's weird how I start things out. Temperance. It's, it's your time. Everything happens for a purpose. This temp, temperance comes after death. So after something has ended, this is a time of healing. It's a time of renewal. Okay, it's a it's a balance, bringing balance back to your life. It's allowing and accepting change. You've learned some sort of life lesson after a significant death ending. Okay, now now this is it's it's a time of healing. It's a need to be grounded, but also fluid. You've you've it's almost like you've crossed a threshold because this is the journey of life. Okay, the Temperance card is about the journey of life. Now you've learned something and it's an, it's caused your evolution. You've evolved. You're going to need to be patient. You're going to need to, um, just relax a little bit. Now I'm wondering if there's some sort of reunion here because the temperance can be a reunion of some sort. So maybe it's a celebration getting, there could be some sort of upcoming celebration or a reunion with somebody. Um, but whatever this is, it's time. It's time. No, I'm not sure if you're dealing with a, a mother or um, a wife or another individual. The Empress in reverse is typically the Empress is typically a mother or a wife or somebody that could be the mother of your children. Um, but it doesn't have to be. Um, the Empress in reverse is 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 a lack of love, a lack of abundance, a lack of could be in pain. Somebody could be in pain. There could be a lack of respect, a lack of um, self-worth um, here. The Empress in reverse doesn't know her value, doesn't know her worth, or she does, or she lacks respect. This is an absent mother, somebody who doesn't take very good care of her children, doesn't take care of herself. Could be your mother. It could be your wife that didn't take very good care of her children. Whatever this is, this is an absent mother here. This is an absent mother. Now this is, it, it's time. It's time for something. Um, the Empress reversed. I gotta not get another card. What is this? Because you net can mean so many things. Three of Wands. Wasted time. Not prepared. Didn't see. Didn't see somebody's worth. There could be a reunion here. Somebody. There could be definitely be a reunion here with with. I mean, the Empress in reverse is a feminine. Empress is a feminine energy, okay? Could be a male, but it's a feminine energy. So this is a feminine energy that lacks value, um, doesn't take care of herself or her children, is very needy, very selfish, very self-centered, okay? This person um, may have uh, affairs, um, this person could be overly protective or not very protective at all. This is an individual that is a mess. Could even have some mental health issues, the Empress in reversed. Not sure what's going on here, but this is a feminine energy that uh, doesn't love herself. or And therefore, she probably can't take care of the people in her life. I mean, honestly. Self-love comes first. So anyway, I'm not sure who you're dealing with, but the Empress in reverse is somebody that is very needy. Um, may Somebody may not have, because this is lack of foresight, not prepared for a delivery even, or an arrival, because she gives birth. The so somebody may not be prepared for an arrival, or they may not be prepared to, <laughs> for something. What are they not prepared for? A love, perhaps? The Four of Cups reversed. So, a new opportunity. I didn't want it, but here it is. Ah, 
I didn't want it. It's not prepared because this is in reverse, the Four of Cups. So that is a seeing another opportunity. So somebody's not prepared. They're not prepared for this new opportunity. But it's time. There's a reason. There's a reason why this didn't grow. This is a lack of growth. There could have, there could have been, um, I don't know. I'm not sure. I mean, the Empress Reverse could be a miscarriage or a termination or, you know, somebody lost their children or didn't take care of their children. Everything happens for a purpose. Everything happens for a reason with the Temperance card. It does. Now, remember, this is a fortunate accident. So that everything happens for a reason. So something happened. There wasn't growth in a situation. It happened for a reason. There's another opportunity here because this is seizing a new opportunity with the Four of Cups reversed. Letting go of regrets. It's the end of stagnation. Somebody is interested, ready to look forward now. They weren't seeing it before. They weren't seeing somebody's value. And they may not have seen somebody's value because they were so needy or they were selfish or who knows what, you know. Um... The Empress in Reverse is a feminine who chases, begs, needs attention, and nobody likes that. So, hmm. Page of Swords Reversed. No, this is a conflict. There could be some stalking. There could be some spying. There could be somebody that's caught off guard. There definitely could be some mental health issues here. There could be some mental health issues. You could have a feminine that has some mental health issues that is been um not nobody could see it and now they're starting to see it i don't know it could certainly be the case um anyhow there even could be some psychological abuse okay there could be um there's this is bad news though so there's been some sort of bad news or there's no words to be said or there's no words being had you could be dealing with an ex or a wife or a mother or somebody that is causing problems with the page of swords next to that empress reversed could have something to do with a mother and a child um could definitely be some conflict with the page of swords reversed um there could be aggressive there could you could be dealing with a troublemaker somebody that is a troublemaker um, ooh, King of Wands reversed and the Queen of Swords, ooh, so somebody could get really pissed off, okay, somebody could get really pissed off, this person is very aggressive, very intense, very harsh, there could be somebody from the law or a professional that comes in with some information or some news that brings about some conflict. This could be a lawyer, could be some uh, judge. I mean, I don't know if it's a judge. It could be a judge. I don't know. This is, could be somebody in the law. Okay, this is a professional. This could be a anybody in a professional position. It could have something to do with children. It could be protective services. I don't know. This could There could be some lies. You could be dealing with an ex that is lying. I, I don't know. Doesn't look good. Anyhow, um, but there is something very fortunate happening because this is good luck is on your side with serendipity. It is on your side, so don't dismay. Don't dismay. Don't despair. Okay, you're going to win. This is a win. You may have to fight some sort of battle. Maybe you've been fighting a custody battle or some sort of battle. It doesn't have to be a custody battle. You've been fighting for something, you, you know, because obviously this is a battle, but the battle is over. You're going to win. This is a victory. So you will win. You will win. Okay, and that could be a judge. So I'm not sure what is going on here, but you could be dealing with an ex or somebody that is vicious, vindictive. Um, maybe they get a lawyer. I don't know. This is somebody that is pissed off. This is somebody that is unreasonable. They are self-centered. You could end up getting very, very mad. Okay. Um, whew. King of Wands reverse next to the Queen of Swords. There could definitely be somebody that comes in with some information that and this person just doesn't care about your feelings. Queen of Swords don't care about feelings. I'm sorry, but I'm reading the energy of the cards. Okay, so that I, the, anyhow, she it's not it's about facts. It's about uh, saying something. She's got something to say. She's got something to say, and it's sharp. It's very sharp. It, it may hurt. So there could be some information that is coming through that is very, uh, that may piss you off, put it that way. Um, could be coming from a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, 
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, uh, Libra. Um, whatever this is, there's going to be, and it may have, I think it has to do with children. Um, everything happens for a reason. You are unaware. Get prepared. You are not prepared for this conflict. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, this is what you come to these readings for, right? You, I mean, not prepared. Okay, the three of wands reverse is not prepared for a conflict, this news, this information that is coming. So, I, I don't know. I don't know what is coming, but there's something coming that is probably going to really make you upset. Um, but it's all happening for a reason. This is a reason. There is a reason here. Don't lose your cool. This is master yourself. You are the master. Remember that. You're going to win. You may be tested. You may be tested by somebody. This person, um doesn't care doesn't care at all um eight of cups now this is saying goodbye walking away from something that is emotionally disappointing somebody's going to be saying goodbye they're interested in something new okay now they're walking towards that four of cups reverse which is the ace of cups right here so somebody is walking toward they're leaving behind something that is emotionally disappointing and heading towards something that is more loving leaving behind they're leaving behind this uh hurtful situation temptation take a look at that yeah huh. so yeah it's like temp that's the devil card so that is tempted tempted by a seductress by looks of things so headed towards um something very very alluring put it that way so you need to be careful. You need to be careful, Aries. You may be headed towards something that is very attractive to you, but it may not be all that it seems. It may not be all that it seems. You could be dealing with somebody that is uh, doesn't know her value, is very needy, is very clingy, um, is having a conflict with somebody, and, uh, you know, they're interested because that's interested in you for, you know, their own benefit, codependency. Devil is about codependency, it is. So you, I just feel like you need to be careful. I do. I feel like be, when you when the devil card comes up, you need to be careful. You need to be careful. There's something going on here with a codependent situation that may not be healthy for you. It may not be healthy. This is not healthy. It's not. It may be very attractive. It may. I think it probably is. I think it's probably very attractive and you may like it a lot, but it may not be um, good for you. Okay? It may not be good for you. So, hmm. Ah, Wheel of Fortune. Now, this is, this is being, the Wheel of Fortune reverse is the opposite of this. Okay? So, the Wheel of Fortune is re reversed is, uh, going backwards repeating the same mistakes not a good time to start new things it's not a good time it's not a good time so past mistakes coming back to haunt you something may be coming back to haunt you this month and i feel like it definitely could be because there could be like a reunion there could be a reunion somebody that uh somebody may be wanting to reunite with you that you came across in a weird situation because of that serendipity thing. And it's probably not what you think it is. Okay. I think that you do need to be careful. I do. I do. Um, oh God. This could be an enemy disguised as a friend with this page of swords reverse. I think that you need to be careful. This is... Um, the past coming back to haunt you and repeating the same mistakes or it's or it's this person from your past it could be an ex this it seriously could be it could be there could be an ex that is coming back to uh mess with you <laughs> all of a sudden they're interested they have some sort of hidden agenda somebody has a hidden agenda could be karma it could be karma the hell is this? 
You're not prepared for it with the Three of Wands reversed. You are not. Something coming back around. Something is coming back around. And you are going to like it. Okay? Because the devil is here. It's going to be like, woo! So you're going to be tempted by it. You will be very tempted to go in that head right towards it. You're going to be tempted to... You are going to be tempted to head right towards it. Whereas before, you might have been saying, nope, I don't want it. I don't want it. But it's going to be like very tempting to you. It is. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. You may, you may be tested. You may be tested. Those fell out there too many. One more card for Aries for the end of May. You're going to have to be strong. You're going to have to be practical. You're going to be logical, okay? Make sure you think about this. Be, be, really think about this. Think about what you, if you want to take two steps backwards. Okay, you want to go backwards or you want to move forward? Four of coins reversed. Four of coins, four of pentacles reversed. It's letting go of fear, opening up. It's time to relax. It's time to relax. It's time to let go. Don't be stubborn. Let this go. Walk away. Walk away from this temptation. Walk away from this toxic, unhealthy situation. You have another opportunity with that four of cups reversed. Ten of Cups reversed. Now this is like uh, relationship problems. This is like a this is like a dying dream. Leaving children, leaving the home, changing your home, you leaving the home. Somebody's moving from their moving homes. Uh, something could do with children, I think, as well. Somebody there could be a uh, I don't know if it's a custody battle or what. Losing children, I'm sorry. I mean, the Empress reversed, and this is child. This is like, some, I'm not trying to scare anybody, you know. It could be a child that's going to live with somebody else. I'm not sure what is going on. Um, but I do feel as though there is a cycle. These are both tens, and this is a cycle that needs to complete in your life. But it hasn't completed yet. It hasn't. Because this is reversed. You haven't completed that cycle yet. You haven't stepped over the finish line. You haven't taken the steps to do so. You have to take the steps. You have to complete this cycle. Don't keep repeating the same mistakes. So somebody has been with the Wheel of Fortune reversed. But it's time for you to take charge. You're the boss. You're in charge. You will come out of this victorious, but you're going to go through a, some sort of battle. And this is actually a fortunate accident. You're going to see it as an accident. And I'm not trying to scare anybody. But it's all happened for a reason. And I don't know what this is, but I feel like it has to do with... Um, your past mistakes coming back to haunt you. Now, this is the devil. This is hell. Choose wisely. So at the end of May, I feel as though I think your life is about to change. Okay? Very first card. There's, because temperance comes after death. So if something is going, something has ended or it's going to end and you're going to need to heal. This is a life lesson that you are learning. And I don't think it's going to be easy. So I think this has to do with some children or, or uh, family or... A relationship or a wife or an ex that was 
disrespected or wasn't taken care of or something like that. Or it could go vice versa. Somebody, um, was mean, egotistical, self-centered. But that Six of Wands is victory after sorrow. So this is all happening for a reason and you will be victorious. Uh, when you get through whatever this battle is, good luck.